as my business, is what I do every day, and why I go out is like we want it to be as fair and transparent and accurate as possible. So they want Twitter to be fair and transparent, and this is their way of doing it. Alright, welcome back everyone to another edition of I Drive B Reacts. I am Lutch, your host, and today we are going to be looking at another Project Veritas video about Twitter. How do these uh, Twitter employees keep getting caught? Let's dive right into the video and figure it out. We don't make profit, so it's going to say ideology, which is what's led us to not being profitable. And beautiful editing from Project Veritas once again, the very first sentence, we're not making profit. <laughs> the rest of us who have been here believe in something that's good for the planet and not just to give people free speech. Well, that's a little bit, I don't want to say frightening, but definitely alarming. You're, what, what exactly are you trying to do for the planet and why is that antithetical to free speech? Because again, like, these people really do believe in what we're doing. Oh, I bet you do. These are the policies we put in place for misinformation or mislabeling media or whatever. Yeah. Why do you think this should be taken down? Yeah. Like those are the questions they're gonna ask him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be hard for him to be like, oh, because people should make their own decision. It's like, no, but people don't know how to make a rational decision if you don't put out correct things that are supposed to be out in the public. And there we go. We thought we had the smoking gun yesterday. He says, people don't know. This is what they think of you. They think they are so much smarter and higher and better than you, and they need to give you the right information so that you don't accidentally say the wrong thing or hear the wrong idea and blah, 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 blah. This is what these people think of you. As an advertiser, as my business, is what I do every day and why I go out is like, we want it to be as fair and transparent and accurate as possible. So they want Twitter to be fair and transparent. And this is their way of doing it. This is far more insidious than them saying, oh yeah, we're going to screw the conservatives, we're going to screw the right wing, progressives all the way. Because this shows that they are actively trying to do the right thing, and through their worldview, they are. By silencing you and making you dumber by putting out the information they think you need to see. Worse than that, they are willing to censor you in pursuit of their goal. So it doesn't matter what's right, what's wrong, wh whatever they think they're doing, they think they're saving the world and that you, by speaking your mind, are getting in the way of that and so it's okay to censor you. That's what the, I mean, yeah, and if that means there ne there's a level of censorship to make it correct, quote unquote, again, and what does correct mean? I guess like, it just kind of goes into <laughs> yeah. the idea of like, well, what is correct? That's a great philosophical question. Not one that you should feel that you have the unequivocally correct answer to. The, the idea that you think you have the correct, correct answers and you need to disseminate that to the rest of us because we're not smart enough, we're not rational enough. If we're implementing all these rules that there's, and Elon wants to dismantle them, then technically our ideology has led us to not making money. You don't say that your ideology doesn't lead to making money. That's what everybody else has been saying for years, forever really. But you guys have decided that not only as you're aware of the fact that your company is not making money, that your ideology is still top priority. Because we're not making money. And Elon wants to turn it the other way so that we can make money. Crazy Elon trying to make money. What? A, what can't have him in charge of a business. There's a statement they need all 7,000 people to say. And so they can't, like, tell us the like, the real truth. This is not the real truth? How much worse does it get? How much worse can it get? He has Asperger's. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Oh, hell no. Tell me this tolerance for everybody, left-wing, progressive, whatever, is gonna come at Elon for having Asperger. That's, that's not where he's going, right? That would be ridiculous. 
So he's special. Your special needs. You're literally special needs. <laughs> so I can't even take what you're saying, Stuart. I, I don't even feel like commentary is necessary. Uh, this guy is a piece of shit. And this is this is this is Twitter. I keep saying it. This is Twitter. This are these are the people who think they know better than you and who are trying to silence you because your disseminating of actual real facts is getting in the way of their ideology. Their ideology. That so sorry to interrupt your podcast experience. I just want to remind you, if you're enjoying what you're watching, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you really love it, there's some support links in the description. I would love if you could help out the channel. And back to the show. Allows them to think that you should run a company that's not making money. You should silence people from participating in legitimate political uh, discourse in the public square. That, uh, uh, you know, they should trample over free speech to save the world somehow. But, oh, I can't even trust you because you're special needs, even though you're f a fucking hundred billionaire. Targeting of tweets. Wait, 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 wait. You can read it. Let me see. And how to protect yourself. Groups like Project Veritas are active right now. <laughs> is that? Yo, this dude's really showing the Project Veritas journalist the email that Tweeps, aka Twitter workers, got warning them against Project Veritas. How dumb do you have to be? But remember, he knows better than you. He knows how to make rational, uh, uh, put rational information out. You don't. He knows better than you. Let's read this whole thing. Targeting of tweets from corporate security. Team, in the last couple of weeks, and as recently as yesterday, we have seen increased targeting of tweets to obtain company information and insights, and we wanted to inform you of what we're seeing and how to protect yourself. Groups like Project Veritas, Project Veritas, <laughs> groups like Project Veritas are active right now. These groups use social engineering tactics to get close to employees, like the guy who's showing this email, and obtain videos and recordings of employees discussing internal company matters and often selectively editing those recordings to misinterpret conversations to further their own political ideological agendas. Again, I would love to see the, the retort to this. If this is fake, I'm I'm ready to to uh, say that I was wrong and that that screw uh, Project Veritas, but I don't see that happening. Tactics have included connecting with our people via dating apps such as Tinder, Bumble, and Happen, setting up fake job interviews, soliciting information view, via surveys uh, from seemingly legitimate organizers, securing invitations to lunch in our offices and to our company events soliciting recordings and transcripts of company meetings, and get this, approaching employees in public settings or at their homes and aggressively questioning them. And we can't really see what the rest says. It's like some group that's trying to just out the employees. Like they're trying to go on dates with them like this. And Literally says dates like this. This is the new To Catch a Predator. I, 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 I'm flabbergasted that you could be so dumb that yesterday you got an email about people coming up to you, talking about stuff inside the company, and then on this date, you show that exact email. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad that uh, this guy is engineering society because um, best and the brightest here. Record them and then go sell it to the New York Times and say this is what the Twitter employee just said. This is what's really happening. This is what they're telling us to not do. You're lucky that you met me organically because I would be... Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky. Luckier than you even realize. What a moron. Everything about you. Well, that just goes to show you even more what we were talking about in the last uh, Project Veritas video. That these people have a disdain for you because of who you are, because of what you think, because of the life that you want to live. The free life that you want to live is an affront to their authoritarian hellscape that they want to be the overlords of and have you living underneath. That's what, I mean, I, I feel like I'm being hyperbolic, but I'm really not. That's legitimately what's happening. This stuff's freaking wild, man. I mean, let me know what you guys think about this. Does this change anything from the last video? Uh, I think the fact that, you know, this guy's out showing uh, company emails and just kind of re uh, reinforcing what we saw in the last video 
is showing that, uh, number one, Elon needs to take a much closer look at the company, which I think is what he was planning the whole time. I think this is all part of his plan. I don't know if I want to give him all this credit as the, the mad evil genius, but everything he's done so far has been exactly what he wanted to be. So why wouldn't this be the same thing? But I want to hear from you guys what you think. Have you been affected by this? Have you seen your engagement go up or down? Or, or you know, maybe you're on the left and you used to have a whole bunch of followers with all you, uh, all this engagement. Maybe that's gone down. Are you questioning why? Because it could be this. Thank you for tuning in once again. Check out those support links in the description. Even if you can't do that, it is free to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. So please do that. Even if you don't want to do that, you can just sit at home, think about how great I am and how awesome this channel is. Until next time, I am out of here. Peace.